Yo, and hello everybody. Mike here, baseball collector, and it's Friday. And, you know, it's been a week since I've been back from National. I came back a week ago today. And, man, I don't know about you guys, but coming back to reality of collecting has been kind of anticlimactic for me. To get back and search on eBay and find cards that are relatively small compared to the big stuff I was able to get at the National is like, eh, I, I'm just less enthused. But I have been making some purchases over the last week and those have started rolling in, so I'm gonna show those off to you. But uh, I do want to give a shout out to one of my buddies, one of my real good friends, who just at my encouragement and some other people's encouragement within the community has just started his own YouTube channel. He just launched it. We literally shot a video today in our office and I'm gonna put a link down below for you to go check out his channel and just see if it's something you like. He's only just started, so he's just got one video and he'll be doing some more to cover his collection, but I think you'll get a good idea of what kind of stuff he has and just see if that's something that you'd like to follow and, and check out. He's gonna start doing some videos. So I'm, I'm excited for him, excited for you guys to get to see his amazing collection. He's got a whole lot of stuff and just some good stories to go along with it. So check him out. Um, that being said, let's get to some mail and show you guys some cards. Hang on one second. So like I said, guys, I'm just kind of getting back in the flow of buying some stuff. This happens to be a card that I bought pre-national and it came in this week. It's a Jack Morris 2004 Donruss Classic Significant Signatures. It's the red version and I think it's numbered to 100. Let's look. Yep, numbered to 100 down there. Why did I buy a Jack Morris autograph? Because it was cheap. It was like 10 bucks. And I don't, this is only like my fourth Jack Morris. So I know that sounds like a lot to most people, but I like to have a bunch of the different Hall of Famers. And I always liked these cards from Don Russ. So pick this sucker up. It was so cheap, I couldn't resist. The next card I got here is really cool and has a great story with it. So Andy from um, Three River Sports Cards ran a contest a couple of weeks ago and I happened to win a COMC credit, and I was thrilled to death to win it, and he, it was a $20 credit, and so I, he said, go find a card, send, me it, send it to me, and I'll go buy it for you and ship it to you, and I was like, great. So I went to try to find a nice, cheap Hall of Fame autograph that I would wanna add, and I couldn't find anything for 20 bucks. Well, I could, but nothing I really wanted. Then I saw this Carlton Fisk, and I'm like, dude, that's a sweet card. I would love to have that. It's from uh, Upper Deck Retro back in the late 90s and it was $22, so I sent it to Andy. I said, man, I'll send you the two bucks uh, if it'll, if you'll get this for me. He said, don't worry about the $2, I'll take care of it. So that was just really cool of Andy uh, at uh, Three River Sports Card. So just thanks so much, Andy, for doing that, and I love having this in my Hall of Fame autograph collection, another pudge, thanks. Now we'll get to some slabs here. So I got a few slabs here for the three in a row that are going to be for the future hall of famer set registry and these are just rookie cards of people that psa in their opinion i guess thinks are going to be in the hall of fame someday the first one here this is this is a card with a funny story i paid i think 10 or 11 dollars for this on ebay and i bought these three pre-national that i'm going to show you because i'm thinking oh i'm not going to find these at the national and they're so cheap just buy them no big deal well Mike O and I were at the National and we were thumbing through a box of slabs and we came across this 91 Ultra Update, not this one, but a 1991 Ultra Update Mint 9 and it was $3 and I'm like, son of a gun. And Mike already showed it on his video. It was really funny because I'm like, dude, I just bought that card. It just came in right before the National and or during while I was at the National, I was like, shoot, I wish I would have known. I would have bought this one for $3, but Mike ended up picking it up, so that was a good pickup for him. At $3, I paid slightly more. We ended up with the same card, same grade, but I think Messina is gonna get in next year or certainly the year after that. But he's, in my opinion, definitely a future Hall of Famer. The next one here is the Kurt Schilling 1989 Donruss, and I paid $9.95 for this one. Again, it's a Mint 9, and you're saying, well, Mike, why don't you just get a PSA 10? Well, I can get a Mint 9, a Mint 9 for 10 bucks, or I can pay 40 to $50 for a Gem Mint 10. To me, the difference is so negligible that I'd rather 
spend only $10 and have that money to use for other cards, like this one. I also picked up a 1989 Upper Deck Omar Vizquel. Love the 89 Upper Deck. Obviously a classic, just fantastic uh, year of cards uh, for 89 Upper Deck. Just ushered in a new era of higher end cards, making things that had great photography and good design. So just an awesome card. Again, only a Mint 9, but it was very, very cheap. Next card is a 1974 Topps Gaylord Perry. This is for my three decade set. I've seen some guys commenting lately or doing videos where they mention my three decade set and I'm glad it's inspiring some people. <laughs> it's making me depressed because there's just so many cards. And so I'm gonna probably slow down a lot on that. I'll just be picking up things here and there instead of just big giant orders of them. But uh, this card was like six bucks. So an eight and a 1974 tops for Gaylord Perry. Continuing on, two more for a new project that I have. So at the National, you know, I picked up the 54 tops Hank Aaron, the 54 tops uh, Ernie Banks rookie. I've already got both Ted Williams cards. I've got the Tommy Lasorda rookie. I've got a bunch of 54 tops just because they're in the top 300 set. And so when I picked up the Aaron and the Banks, I looked, I'm like, there's only a few more cards that I need to do all of the Hall of Famers from 54 tops because I'm also working on 53 Bowman. This is just such a classic set and just beautiful card design, just awesome stuff that I said, oh, okay, let's do all the Hall of Famers, why not? And so I picked up this Hoyt Wilhelm in a five and a half. I think it was like 23 bucks or something. So really not that bad in terms of cost. So I'm gonna be looking for uh, threes, fours, fives, sixes, just kind of whatever I can afford for that player. And I've already got, like I said, more than half of them. Here is another one that I picked up from Probstein. This is a Richie Ashburn. So shout out to all my Phillies guys. Y'all know who you are, Ray and Ed and Mike and just so many Phillies people. It's uh, sickening how many of you guys are, but it is a great card of Richie Ashburn, great Hall of Famer. This is in an excellent to mint six, so a really, really pretty card for 54 tops. And I just love the old Phillies logo, the color picture with the action black and white shot, just an amazing design for an amazing set. Looking forward to showing you guys the other ones as I pick them up. And once I get them all, I'll do a showcase video. That shouldn't take me too long to get all of them because I only need a few more. So there you go, guys. That's my mail. Make sure you go check out my buddy Jim's channel. It's My Collector's Bank. So go check that out. I'll put a link below. Uh, like this video if you can, if you do like it, and sub if you haven't. We'll catch you guys soon. Keep collecting.